So, Easter is done. And we had an awesome, amazing weekend at Grace Church in Overland Park for Easter. Um, we had a first for us. We did four services. And we did one on Saturday night, as I mentioned earlier. And then, uh, whew, then um, try and do this while I'm driving. Um, have Saturday night service at 5 p.m. after our Easter egg hunt and carnival. And that went fantastic when we had around 40 folks uh, receive Christ on Saturday night. That was amazing. And then this morning on Sunday, Easter Day, we uh, had three services, one at 8.30, one at 10, and one at 11.30 in the morning. And it was just a packed house. Um, and really all three services were pretty filled. But second was all, as usual, incredibly full. But uh, the, the, that's not the story, though. The story is the fact that each service this morning, at least 20 people uh, professed to have received Christ this morning. And that was an answer to prayer um, here at our church. Uh, we had been praying to God that, uh, that He would bring uh, people here and that, uh, that we would see at least 100 people um, trust in Christ this weekend. And it happened. And so now we're asking ourselves the questions, did we uh, limit God? Should we have asked for God to, uh, to save more? But um, it was an awesome weekend. Uh, musically, we did, um, what we do? Our first song was Happy Day by Tim Hughes. Fantastic tune. I love it. Uh, one, of my, uh, one of my favorites right now. I just love that song. And it's perfect for Easter, of course. And then the uh, second song was uh, Salvation is Here by Hillsong United. Great tune. And then also, um, after that, we did um, Revelation song, or it's, I've heard, I've seen it called The Revelation. Anyway, Carrie Job has done the song. It's a gateway worship song. And I think it's on her new album, too. But uh, just great. Meredith Barrett sang it today. And last night, my wife signed and sang it for the Saturday night service. And they both did a phenomenal job. Just a beautiful song. And uh, right after that song, um, I read some scripture. We took out uh, Revelation 5, 11 to 13. And just talked about how we will one day be standing before the throne of God with all creation, proclaiming that He is worthy, He is holy, um, praising the Lamb that was slain. So we read that verse together, and it was just, uh, it was great. And then we went into, did something unique. We had a little recording of, uh, an audio recording, an MP3 file of my daughter reading some scripture. And I jumped on the Mac this week and just threw in some uh, background pads over it and uh, did it in the key of A and then went right into the new song which was uh, I Will Rise, the Tomlin song which uh, man people uh, it was just it was just a phenomenal song There's, it was just a fantastic tune for Easter a lot of folks uh, really uh, received that very well and uh, enjoyed that worship time and then we did the message which was awesome straight evangelistic message from Tim and if you have uh, not heard the gospel or know what that is or the resurrection, the story of the resurrection, you got to listen to it. I put the link on my blog here um, right with the songs above my head. Um, and then uh, at the end, we concluded the whole service with, um, with uh, I can't think of the name, True Love by Phil Wickham. And that is currently one of my favorite tunes. I am really digging that song. Um, love that song. And I love to sing it, um, especially when you get to the bridge where it just proclaims Jesus is alive, Jesus is alive. We just sing that together over and over. It's awesome. And then just the, the deep, so the, the, the poetic way of, of describing what took place when Christ died in the chorus is just phenomenal. And then uh, adding in the, you know, some of the scripture with, uh, you know, when blood and water hit the ground, all creation uh, felt the Father's love or something like that. Anyway, great song. Love it. So um, to all of my Grace friends, my Gracers friends, thank you so much for, for listening to the call that Tim put out last week and inviting your friends, inviting your neighbors, and giving us the opportunity to minister to them and to reach out to them with the good news that Christ came 
and that he died, and that he rose again. So happy Easter, everybody. Hope yours was great, and we'll see you.